time! First well, time. I called, I called it wrong out to start there, Shane. I thought Perigo might get that jump on the outside, but he didn't get it. Do you think that cushion might have just give him a little bit of intimidation there? That's exactly what I was going to say. I think that little trip he had to the cushion in turn four it might have thrown the confidence off just a little bit, allowed Ronnie to get that dump off the bottom. So RJ will lead him down into turn number three and four as we watch the battle right now with Billy Decker, Dave Marcacelli right there. You got Jesse Mueller in the thick of this battle as well as Decker in the number 91. Able Able to take over position number five right now from the M1 of Dave Marcacelli. Three laps in as he holds on to position number six, Marcacelli seventh, as Matt Williamson in the number 88 going to work on the Di Lorenzo number 3D. That's for position number three. Matt Williamson, he's kind of the guy on the move right now, being able to run the bottom side of the speedway here on Di Lorenzo as they work down into the third corner. I'll tell you, these front four guys have found something here early on, but Billy Decker is really starting to charge the outside of the racetrack. He's going to want to be down in that brown because that's where Perigo is in the 44 car. And he's really making it work on the inside as we got one car slowing on the outside of turn two. And that certainly looks to be, yes, that is the 111 of Demetrius Drellos. We are back underway. Johnson had another good jump that time. Mahaney tried to follow him through. But Kenny Tremont, look at Kenny Tremont in the 115, picking him off one by one on the outside of the racetrack. He's rolling right now, Shane, out of turn four. Tremont is on the move on the top side into turn number one and two, looking to get around Mahaney for third. He will clear him with authority down the back straightaway. And I don't think Kenny Tremont's finished by any means, way, shape, or form. I wouldn't say so. That car is just digging so hard right now out of corner number four. But you're still using up your tire, putting it up out there, where Perigo just to seem to be really straight and slow rolling that car on the bottom. Oh, he was within a half car length that time. Into turn number one and two. RJ's better in one and two, but Perigo, great run down the back stretch into the money corner. It all depends on how Ronnie gets into turn three. If Ronnie can keep that momentum going into three, he's all right, because I feel like turn one, he can get into it a little bit better down here, carry that speed out of turn two. It's the entrance into turn three that's going to make the difference because Perigo is too good on the bottom out of turn four. Better line that time for both of them through corner number three and four. Momentum, Johnson with two to go that time by. Ronnie Johnson, Anthony Perigo. A great run for Perigo off a of two this time. Boy, he hasn't had a run like that in a while. He's got it here into turn three. Can he do the slide job? He's going to try it. Perigo knows where that cushion is. He's got the lead on turn four. Shane. White flag, Anthony Perigo, new race leader into turn number one and two. Ronnie Johnson shuffled back to second as the number 35 of Mahaney going after him. Into three and four, Oktoberfest, night number one, off the turn. It is Perigo with the win, Mahaney second, wow. RJ third. What? Perigo in victory lane here at the great race place.